goddess mother. I was reaching for a firearm, and I find you in my safe. Well, how about them apples? Well, since you're already in there, I might as well invite you out, and you can find out more about this safe. It's the Sturdy Safe Company of Fresno, California. It's their model 2020. It's a handgun safe, and it uh, is a rather nice unit, so let me show you around a bit. Sturdy Safe is not noted for putting gingerbread or pretty things on their safes. They build a basic but very sturdily constructed, hence the name, safe that you can put your own ornamentation on if you desire. The only thing telling you it's a sturdy safe is that it says sturdy safe on the dial, and that is a very recent development. A friend has one from 20 years ago, and there's no way to tell who made the thing. Since most gun safes seem to have ornamentation on them, usually game animals or a patriotic theme, I added the decal you see here. It came from an outfit on Amazon called Pro Sticker and is of good quality. They have a wide variety of decals in various sizes. Now getting to the safe itself, you can see there is a weldment all around the handle and the dial area. That is an option where they weld an extra plate of stainless steel in this area to make it a lot harder for a thief to compromise the handle or lock. On a safe this small, the plate dominates the door. On a larger safe, it would not. You can tell it's stainless, because if I take this magnet right here, and I put it on the door, it sticks. If I take it and I put it on the safe body, it sticks. If I take it and I put it on the handle, it sticks. If I take it and I put it on this stainless steel plate, boop, it doesn't stick at all. Now I'm not going to bore my audience with a lengthy account of the construction features of this safe. You can find that information on Sturdy's website as well as multiple YouTube videos by Sturdy and others. But a quick rattle off may be in order. This safe has a non-existent gap around the door. You can zoom in here, just tight as you want. And uh, I can't even slip a piece of paper into the thing. It's pretty much impossible to pry on something you can't get a toe hold on. I optioned this safe out with the four gauge body, three eighths inch thick door steel, and the above mentioned stainless plate. In addition, I also specified the locksmith resistant hard plate upgrade, which pretty much means nobody's getting into this thing without a plasma torch. I would like to compliment Sturdy Safe in general, and Elisa in particular, for being very on the ball and easy to work with during the ordering, building, and pickup cycles as I drove to Fresno to pick up this safe in person. A particular pet peeve of mine are companies, often Fortune 500 companies, that set up a website and then proceed to ignore it and never answer emails or contact forms. Sturdy answers inquiries in a timely manner, and I wish more companies were as proactive as they are. I also wish I could buy a car like I bought this safe instead of having to buy a bunch of useless overpriced junk just to get the one option I want. They let you pick and choose anything you want. The lock on this safe is the Commercial Grade Sergeant and Greenleaf number 6730-009, which is specifically designed for gun safes. The difference between this lock and the lock you see on the safe to the left is like night and day, even though they operate exactly the same. The keyhole you see here is a $20 option that allows locking the dial so it can't be turned. It does not override the combination. Now Sturdy has been called out in other reviews over a perceived quality problem with their door handles. They often feel slightly loose and may have a slight rattle. This particular safe does not exhibit this behavior, but I'm given to understand from Sturdy that this is a happy accident 
and that rattle or no rattle isn't of concern and has zero effect on security or longevity. So upon opening, let's open it up here. Upon opening, where's that? Upon opening, you can see the basic interior sturdy gives you with carpet covered shelf and carpet on the bottom. These safes do not come with interior lighting. This is an LED lighting system I pieced together with components purchased on eBay and elsewhere. Taking a look at the inside of the door, you can see the massive bolts that are the same diameter all the way through and are supported on both ends, as you can see here with the interior cover removed. Let me pan in here. And you can see the, the bolt, I will go, wow, well, that's the upper one, and there is a lower one also. I will go uh, operate that. You can see the move. You can also see right here, there is an added plate that Sturdy puts on the back side of the lock for added protection. Now with the plate back on, you can see the small hole that is used to change the combination using a key that is supplied with the safe. And you can also see over on the side there, the equally massive permanent bolts on the hinge side that engage when you close the door. This You're looking at the LED light and the that I supplied and installed attached to the top of the safe the top of the the ceiling so to speak and if you come down here there's another one just like it on the bottom of the shelf and there in the back you can see the dry rod that was supplied by sturdy but uh, they leave it to you to install it I got that because I'm moving to Florida in a couple of three months and wanted humidity control and right now the safe is, is pretty empty with the exception of my CVA pistol. Um, over here in the corner, they give you a pre-drilled hole for the electrical. I put a grommet in it and the electric, electricity comes in to run the dry rod and the lights. And right here in the corner is the plunger switch that turns the lights on and off and you can see as you pan around the inside the uh, shelf is positioned by you know, pretty much standard uh, shelving unit type clip holder doodahs whatever those things are called and you can move the shelf up and down or you could even install another shelf in it if you wanted to this is the bottom side of the shelf that comes with the safe. I have added an LED light system and a dry rod to this safe. The dry rod was supplied by Sturdy but self-installed. The LED system came from eBay. It was also self-installed. And I had a heck of a time with that LED light system. I had one light blow up on me and I had an inadequate power supply. I had a motion sensor that worked real well but was not capable of switching the current of the LEDs that I was using so I replaced it with a plunger switch that you could that red thing that's down there in the lower corner there, the lower left hand corner and you can also see pigtails to the left of that assembly that is for the dry rod to plug in and the light system to plug into both its power supply as well as a feed for the other LED light identical to the one here that is in the top of the safe. And here is a closer look at the dry rod itself installed on the bottom there and I also can see a pair of screw-on rubber feet that were liberated from an old sewing machine 
that are put on the back edge that keeps the shelf off the back side of the safe just a little bit so that air can circulate around the dry rod and get to the top half of the safe. Although this video is primarily about the sturdy safe, I would be remiss if I didn't mention my pistol stored system of choice. This is the Armory Rack from ArmoryRacks.com. They are available in one, two, four, six, and eight pistol versions. Here you can see the optional tray that can hold ammo, grips, magazines, tools, and even smaller firearms. As you can see, right there. Best of all, like the safe, this is a 100% American designed and made product. Although the Armory racks are perfectly capable of holding my Ruger Mark III, the longer barrel on it had me wanting to store it differently, so it is seen here in a hold-up display from holdupdisplays.com. It is a completely different idea from the Armory Racks and is also made in the USA. This is the shot of the inside of the bottom of the safe with the carpet removed. The piece of metal you see there is not supplied by Sturdy. I fabricated that for reinforcement on the inside when I get to Florida and I bolt the thing down. Not that the safe needs it, the metal in it is plenty thick enough but I had this piece of metal anyway, so I got it set up. There's a pair of three quarter inch holes on approximately an eight inch center that's drilled in the bottom of the safe. This piece of metal I drilled it is 64th over, so it's 49 64ths. Here you can see the thickness, comparative thickness of the metal. The safe metal is already thicker than the reinforcing plate that I made. Okay, that is the end of this review. So God is blessed and all the rest for my Wiccan friends. And God bless you for my Christian friends. And may Athena's blessings go with you all. Party on and have a good night.